adventurers. I'm Jerry and this is Adventurous Jerry Lynn. Today I wanted to talk about power. Do you have power in your rig? Whether it's a fifth wheel, whether it's a cargo trailer like we're in here, or if, if you're in your van, do you have portable power? And um, I know there's a lot of um, um, solar panel uh, that you can plug into your generator or maybe you have a, a gas generator. There are so many different things that you can choose from. Well, today, I've kind of been bugging my husband, and I thought, you know, I've been looking at the Jackery and the Goal Zero and all these other big names, and um, as far as power, because, um, you know, there may be days where it's rainy, and say our solar, we have uh, 885 watts of solar on the cargo trailer. This is a 7x16 cargo trailer. And um, what I wanted to know is maybe instead of spending a thousand dollars on a Jackery or 500, I thought I asked my husband, oh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll cut that out. Uh, I thought I could ask my husband what um, what could he do as far as making us a portable power. And so um, it's a DIY solar generator that uh, that's portable and so this is what he came up with Apache 3800 it's a weatherproof protective case it's dust proof impact resistant and this is the thickness oops I got put my cord in there So let's open it up. This is what the inside looks like. So since I'm still learning about these items, he was kind enough to write the info on here. Like this is a, bind, a binding post. So what he did was Everything that I wanted, you know, something that we can plug in USB, something that you can plug in uh, 110 volt, 110, and let's see what this is, regulator, is that what I want to say, voltage regulator, and then these are the batteries. And the fan guard. Hubby gave me these idiot proof notes. <laughs> and I'm not sure how many. It depends because this is his first uh, he's ever did. But it's the USB and then the 110. And so those two of those. And he's got a fan for us. He says he's got a couple more things that's coming. A secondary USB. And this is a 12 gauge wiring. And then that's the light. So the light, you know, like, um, And this is the power switch. Just push that in. And the solar connector. And this is the thermostat. And so he's been buying these batteries, so can you see that? The tray. There you go. 
and whether or not he keeps that foam, I'm not sure. This is his first time doing a DIY solar uh, generator that we're going to make portable. And then he's got the two racks. So many of my favorite YouTubers have these and they use them and, you know, something to think about, you know, we aren't always, you know, equipped to have a plug-in at an RV park or if you're uh, mooch docking in somebody's driveway or, you know, wherever you're at, you know, you have to come up with a secondary, maybe even a third way of how do you have heat? How do you have a way to cool? and cook and for lighting and for all these things it depends how big your rig is do you need x amount of power now obviously this is going to be quite big so he wrote me some notes and he said it's going to be made from reclaimed modern ba uh, a modem battery and locked uh, laptop batteries with 18 650 lithium ion batteries assembled in a power pack battery each one will have a 4.2 volt with 233 nominal watt hours. That's watt hours for each cell. When you put them all together in one pack or battery, then pack then the pack becomes a battery that has a nominal voltage of 14.8 volts, approximately 64 amp hours, and approximately 1,058 watt hours or watt hours per charge. The battery pack will be made from 120 of these uh, 18 650 batteries. We'll have a 500 watt pure sign inverter and it'll power for the 120 volt AC outlets for regular household plug-in, you know, just the plug-in stuff. Laptops, lights, cell phones, small batteries, packs, pumps, fans, you know, what have you. A 12 volt power pack powering a six USB outlet powers anything USB um, needed power. 12 volt power pack powering a regulated automotive style plug outlet for anything with a car's cigarette style plug in adapter 12 volt. Well, I mean, that right there, that's pretty awesome. We'll have four Eagle Eye 18 millimeter 9 watt LED fog lights to be used as a light source when switched on to walk with the walk with in the dark or just light up your campsite. These are very bright LED lights. And the hubby, see he wrote me this. So fancy. He just loves his wifey. <laughs> we'll have all DC circuits fused in 12 volt relays for protection and safety. We'll also be able to charge uh, recharge by plugging into any regular 120 volt outlet. And we'll be able to uh, recharge from a 10 watt to a 200 watt solar panel. We'll be able to be linked easily with additional battery packs made from 18 650 batteries. We'll be able to be joined in parallel connection to increase capacity to add additional amp hours to power any of our needs. This project will have twice the power compared to some of the power ones sold to the camper and bug out community looked up the biggest one available making this one match or even outperform most of the store-bought ones we completely made this one to how we want it what we need it for and how we are going to use it to our specifications not store-bought the closest store-bought one that comes close that sells all this and then there's a couple more parts that's coming before he just starts you know putting it all together is a thousand dollars maybe plus a thousand dollars from start to finish this project will cost less than half of that price complete and ready to use i mean you can't beat it um there's so many things that you know when we had this hunker down uh, i'll give you an example when we had that mr uh berkey that water uh, uh, filtration you couldn't even find those anywhere well, same thing probably what happened with the generators. You can't find them. So, you know, an alternative, he's building one. 
and um, when it gets all done then I'll share that with you guys so we can have you know something um, you know maybe something he could do and I don't know sell or what have you um, but I think this is kind of nice for us so we already have you know solar panel we have 400 amp hours on our uh, cargo trailer right now our mini RV that we converted and if you want to see the build out of this cargo trailer make sure you go to my previous videos and you can see how the build out was um, there's uh, some nice um, video on how we built that out he did such a great job on this build so if you haven't thought about it you know if you if you're kind of tired of using the gas generator or if you're tired of, you know, when the the sun, you know, say you got a, a streak of uh, a few days, maybe even a week or so, um, and there's no sun, and you've already, you know, paid for your place, whether you're there a week or two weeks or what have you, um, and you don't want to move, you need power. And so this is a nice backup. You know, God forbid, like I always said, you know, when I didn't, like last week, I didn't always want just to have the propane for heating and for cooling um, well not for cooling but for heating and for cooking I mean you don't always want propane you know maybe you want something uh, different and so this is a nice alternative for us to have so I hope you uh, stick with us here at Adventures Jerryland and um, I'm so happy that you come back every single Monday and again the hubby outdid himself. He is making me a DA, <laughs> DA, DIY solar generator, and we're going to make it portable. And then this is it. This is the thickness. Here's the top. This is the bottom. And we're going to test this out first and see, you know how it works out so thank you so much for coming back we love you family and a backup you know you need a plan b and a plan c because you just never know well at least that's how we think um but you know i'm sure you probably think that too shouldn't always be a one trick pony there's more ways to to do things than just do them one way and um you know it's not bad to have so thank you Thank you so much for coming back every single Monday. Thank you. We'll see you later. And I love you, family. Make sure you hit that button on the bottom. Give me that thumbs up. You know, something else to think about. You know, it's funny how I was talking about all the... Uh, hit that like button. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, if this is your first time to the channel, to Adventures Jerryland, welcome. And hit that subscribe button. And... We love you. You take care. We'll see you out on the open road. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.